Hello, in this video we're going to derive the mean and the variance of a compound Poisson gamma distribution. And before we do this, we're going to generically look at something that's called a compound Poisson distribution. And of course then the compound Poisson gamma distribution will make more sense after we cover this. So this is background material. So a compound Poisson distribution means we have some variable y that's the sum of some variable x. Now x is distributed you know, with f. So it could be discrete or continuous, but the number of how many we sum of this variable, say cap n, is a random variable uh, that's a Poisson distribution. And so we don't know how many were summoned beforehand. Um, anyway, so y is called a compound Poisson distribution. And so to find the density of this, the and density you could you know of the continuous type or of the discrete type is found like this. You have the joint distribution of, of y and n, and then it can be written conditionally like this. And then you integrate out n and it leaves y. And so this is generically the the uh, density of of, of y, the compound Poisson distribution. Now to find the mean, the expected value of y, we can write that as the expected value of the expected value of y given n. So if n is a constant, then this sum is much easier to, to derive. And so here we have the sum of iid random variables. So And there's cap n of them. So it's really n times whatever the mean is of those x's. And so that's what this is. So it's n times the mean of those. Now, this is a constant with regards to this expectation. This expectation, or this one, is in regards to n. And so this can be taken out, and you're just left with the expected value of n times expected value of x. So this is the mean of our compound Poisson distribution. Now to find the variance we make use of what's called the law of total variance. And we're not going to derive it in this video because and there's plenty of videos out there but you can write the variance as conditional you know these conditional expectations. And so you have the expected value of the variance of you know y given n and the variance of this expectation. Some We'll refer to these as you know the explained variance and the unexplained variance. There's different interpretations, and so to do this, let's let's go down. So this one here is the sum of uh, iid random variables, and there's n of them, and n's a constant here. So it's really it's whatever the variance of x is times you know n of them, and that's what this says right here. And then this one, the same, um, you know, this is, you know, what we did set up here. It's the uh, n times expected value. There's, you know, it's the sum of, of n cap n iid random variables. So it's n times the mean of just one of them. And then um, this, remember this variance is in terms of n. So this is a constant which can be taken out front but uh, you know constants when you're looking at the variance have to be squared while you take them out and this one here you know this is expectation is in terms of n so this variance can be taken out and that's what we do this next step so the expected value of n times the variance of x and the expected value comes out squared and then it's the variance of n but n is a is a Poisson, so the variance is equal to the mean. So we can replace, we could put the mean in here, and then we can factor out a mean to both sides, and that's what we do. So we're left with the variance and the expected value squared. But the variance of x, you know, the formula is expected value of x squared minus the mean squared. So that minus and this cancel, and we're just left with the expected value of x squared. And so generically, this is the variance of a compound Poisson distribution. So now let's get to the uh, meat of this uh, video, and it's the compound Poisson gamma. 
And what that means is that the random variable X is distributed with a gamma, their IID gamma alpha beta. Okay, and then so in, and where N is Poisson, and so a Y, we're looking at Y, which is the compound Poisson gamma of the sum of XI to from one to cap in. Well, because it's a gamma, we know the mean is alpha over beta, and the variance of a gamma is alpha over beta squared. So then the mean of our compound Poisson gamma is, as we derived up there, is the mean of n times the mean of x, or the expected value of n and expected value of x. Well, this is a uh, Poisson, so it's lambda, and this is a gamma, which is alpha over beta, so this is the mean. Now the variance, using the, the formula up there, is uh, we, we, uh, we use this piece here, so it's expected value of n, which is um, lambda, and the variance of x, which we said, you know, uh, which is a gamma, it's alpha over beta squared. The mean squared is this. So here we can we can combine the fractions to this, and so this is the variance of a compound Poisson gamma distribution. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.